what's going on guys my name is spectrum in today's video i'm gonna talk to you guys about why i think call of duty 2016 also dubbed cod ghost call of duty ghost 2 or modern Warfare 4 or mw4 whatever you want to call it will be one of the greatest call of duties on the current generation consoles and when i say current generation consoles i'm including p pc it's its own thing but pc ps4 and xbox one because more than likely it will not be for the last generation consoles because if you look at call of duty black Ops 3 it, it's not even a full game you're not you don't even get the campaign you're not getting any dlcs there's a lot in multiplayer that you're not getting that you're not getting so i don't believe that it'll be for last energy consoles but this is why i believe that it'll that it'll completely bring back the call of duty series uh black ops 3 did a great job um with bringing back a lot of players but this is why i think cod 2016 is gonna have everybody just just completely happy guys that no matter what they do everyone will be happy even if it has some bullshit stuff and people will still love it and these are my three reasons Number one is map layout. If you look at Call of Duty Ghosts, um, Advanced Warfare, and in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare had very similar map design or map layouts. And my map design completely different, but map layouts completely the same for the most part. And what this means is that each map had three lanes. And if you don't have three lanes, or I'll try to put a screen up on the on the screen. I'll try to put a picture on the screen. What I mean by three lanes. And then Call of Duty Ghosts. Their maps were terrible when it came to lanes. They had like no lanes. You basically have like camp at the edge of the maps and it just completely sucked. I'll put a picture of a Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare or any other Call of Duty map with three lanes. And I'll put a Ghost map up with no lanes and you'll see the complete difference. Basically what the la these lanes are, you give you three options on the way to run. You either run, you either ran left, right, or mid. Uh, with Call of Duty Ghosts, you, you could, there were like no lanes on any map. You could like make up a lane, but it wasn't really there. These maps were just designed to have no lanes at all. Completely just terrible map layout. And also another thing, uh, and it's Infinity Ward. And I believe that they've had enough time to listen to, com to the community. Knowing that we don't want another Ghost style game. If it's Ghost, but it's like a... Uh, like an MW2 style, but you know, not no one man army or no terrible new tubes. Like, I don't care if there's new tubes, I care if there's a per uh, if there's something that'll let you take advantage of the new tubes, like one man army and MW2. Um, but I think if they go back to the MW2 style maps or MW3 or COD4, or, you know, you know, good old Infinity Ward, and then didn't have such large scale maps, the reason why Battlefield can pull off these maps is because of the large player large player count uh it is an extremely large match but they also have tanks jeeps helicopters jets and they have 64 players per lobby ghosts has none of that they only have 12 players per lobby and the maps are huge by call of duty standards some people might argue saying no they're small pushing to medium no these all these maps are are uh, larger medium pushing to large that's what the maps are also number two guys is that call of duty ghosts 2 or MW4, I mean, this is called COD 2016. COD 2016 will most likely be boots on the ground. And the reason why it'll be boots on the ground, because if they brought back the Modern Warfare series, it has modern in the time, in the title. And Black Ops 2 was around 2025, and they didn't even have exo suits. Like, it was a bit futuristic, but it was good futuristic. It was a futuristic that seemed believable, in my opinion. And modern times is gonna mean before, it's gonna mean around 2025, in my opinion. Because Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. Yeah, Call of Duty 4 took place in 2011 and the game came out in 2007. But MW2 took place in 2016 and came out in 2009. Call of Duty <laughs> MW3 came out in 2011 and took place around 2017 or 2018, I think. Or maybe 2016 because, uh, yeah, I really don't know actually. I'll have to look that up and I'm going to put it on the screen. But anyway, so MW2, let's just go with that, came out in 2009 took place 2016 that's about seven year difference it's 2016 a seven year difference would mean uh, what is it um 2023 2020 times 2020 through 2025 more than likely with modern times now that is a very modern time because more than likely it'll it'll have the feel of a modern warfare game and if it is cod ghost 2 call the ghost was boots on the ground it didn't have no futuristic uh you know like um what's called uh boosts or exosuits or uh, exo whatever you want to call exo styled movements where you can just boost in the air higher than the normal human in my opinion and i think everybody loves that because <sighs> infinity Ward has had three years to make this game and they've had plenty of enough time to listen to the community and know that we do not want exosuits if you want exosuits it's because you started playing call of duty around ghosts or advanced warfare 
uh, although I am not a veteran, I've been playing since Modern Warfare 2. That's about two years after Call of Duty 4, which is where most veterans started playing. You can play 1, 2, and 3, but those are, they're part of the Call of Duty series, but they're not really part of it because they didn't have the multiplayer that Call of Duty 4 had. And I'm not a veteran, but I'm considering where most people started playing, I, I am a pretty much a veteran because I've been playing well, two years after most people. So I'm not a complete veteran, but I'm almost at a veteran status. And nobody likes the exosuits. I mean, you'll give it to people like Ali A, T Martin, but in my opinion, these guys are they're practically paid to say this stuff. They're all, they're always excited about the new DLC. They're excited about everything. Call of Duty Ghost was a shit game. Everyone hated it. And they're like, no, no, no. This is a great Call of Duty guys. Ah, fuck that. No, Call of Duty Ghost sucked. It's simple as that. And, well, number two kind of leads into number three. I didn't even say the numbers, but there's three reasons. And number two leads into number three. Modern times. It'll give us something to relate to. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 were just... Weird. Advanced Warfare had a pretty good story. Um, it was mostly the cinematics that I really liked. Honestly, I like the cinematics in that. They were really good, but I I don't know. Uh, Black Ops 3, its story was just... It was weird, guys. Like, I... There was... That I can think of at the top of my head, there was two references to Black Ops 2. It was one mission where, um... I think it's, uh... Hendrix, the player, which I think is stupid. Why didn't they give the player a name? Like you call player, like that's it. You don't have a name or nothing. Uh, I think it's a Hendrix player, and then the uh, the Egyptian dude. They're saying how you can think um, uh, Menendez for blah 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 blah, and then Hendrix go off saying he was an egotistical maniac. I don't tell me to think Menendez. That was one reference, and then another reference is when you're on Hall's backstory thingy, and you see, I think, four or five Navy SEAL soldiers just laying on the ground dead. And honestly, I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, but anyway, the story for Black Ops 3 was just weird. The voice acting was terrible, in my opinion. Like, seriously. Oh, my God. I, and, like, none of these actors I've ever heard of. I mean, give or take it, I am young. I'm only 14. Uh, I'm turning 15 in, like, two months. But anyway... Give or take it, I am young, so I'm probably not getting a lot of actors, but I think a lot of people didn't know any of these actors, and the voice acting was just terrible, in my opinion. Um, another thing, I don't know if this is just me, this is just something I have to start off right now, is that hopefully there will be no specialists, because honestly, uh, actually, I'm going to bring up two more reasons. Specialists, and then something about the story, it really doesn't matter, you can skip the story part if you want to, but anyway. So, the specialists, and personally, in my opinion, I don't like the specialists. Um, they're a cool thought, but... I just don't like them. You, you're not really... You're just a... With the recent call of these, you're just a person fighting. You're not a person fighting for his country. You're not a person fighting for his family or anything. You're just a person fighting. For just... For like no reason. You're like a private military corporation. Personally, I would like to go back to the traditional America versus Russia. Yeah, for the most part. America versus Russia. You know, Cold, Wild, Cold War style kind of game. Or whatever you want to call it. Modern times. Cold War, I mean, America versus Russia, UK versus Russia, UK versus US and UK. Honestly, that's what I want to see some stuff, guys. I want to see a variety. With the recent Call of Duties, it's been one team versus this team, blah, blah, that's it. It was either Atlas versus, um, uh, what is it, uh, Set, Set, Sentinel? Or Sentinel versus Atlas. That was pretty much it, guys. And honestly, I thought that was really stupid, in my opinion. Um, in Black Ops 3, you're added to CDP versus Black Ops. And what is Black Ops made out of? Specialist. What is CDP made out of? Specialist. No, you're not made out of just a man or a girl. No, no, you're made out of specialists. What do you think is stupid? And the number three is the story. Honestly, I don't want to see these recent stories where you're joining a PMC or you get injured and all of a sudden you're like this superhuman person. No, I want to see a character that is just fighting for his country. That's simple as that. That's how Call of Duty has been in story mode per se since, well... Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, NW2, Black Ops, NW3, uh, Black Ops 2, and Ghosts all had the style. Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, you were just a soldier. You weren't a sol you were a soldier, but you weren't a soldier, in my opinion, if you kind of get what I mean. And honestly, um, what is it, uh, the story, oh, you had to do something with the multiplayer. Whatever happens in the story kind of affects the multiplayer. This map is always based off of this level. Your team is always based off what happens in story mode. And that's what I want to see. In these maps, you're just a soldier fighting for a PMC. It's cool there's black ops. But honestly, and plus the music in multiplayer, none of the starting music in my opinion gets me pumped up to play a game. You go back to black ops, the black ops theme always got me pumped up. The heavy metal was just, just oh my god, it was amazing. MW2, all the soundtracks were amazing. Uh, although I'm not the biggest fan 
of Spetsnaz. It's the all the music got me pumped up, especially Army Rangers and Navy Seals. So these just got me pumped up. You go to uh, Infinity, not Infinity War, um, Advanced Warfare. The Atlas theme just got me pumped up. That one little like uh, you could say bass trap. Um, I'll try and put the audio in the background. That little part of the 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 spawn music which just got me pumped up every time to play. And then I don't know Black Ops. There's only one song I can't remember what it's called, but there's only one song in Black Ops that gets me slightly pumped up to play. Um, and you know, back in MW2 times, although I didn't have Xbox Live back then, I always, like, saw videos, people always playing Call of Duty and MW2, uh, people would say, this was the game that when you got on, you saw everyone in your friends list playing. These days, I go on my friends list, I see, like, um, really stupid games being played by my friends. Like, you don't see Call of Duty being played, because Call of Duty is dying, there's no denying that, guys. If they went back to boots on the ground, Call of Duty would just be thriving, but no, they're trying to... They're trying to push for a futuristic setting, and that is not what people want. People want modern times, Cold War, World of War II, Infinity War, Advanced War, not Advanced War, Sledgehammer, and Treyarch. Listen to the community. <coughs> Treyarch promises they listen to the community. Everyone wanted a World World at War II, and they brought Black Ops 3. Like, seriously, Black Ops 3 is it's a good Call of Duty, I'll give it that, but it is not the Call of Duty we wanted. Advanced Warfare was just terrible, guys, don't even give me up. Sorry about that, that was Bunny Hopping Simulator 2015 to 2016, seriously. For fuck's sake, that game which should not exist. Ghost was a shit, I think it was mostly the hit detection in the maps that really sucked, and the overpowered killstreaks. But other than that, I think Ghost was a pretty decent game, and if, it, and if every Call of Duty... From Cloud 20, from Advanced Warfare and up, is all EXO futuristic movie suits. Ghost will probably be the best Call of Duty that people will love because it'll be on the next generation, it'll be on the current generation consoles, aka Xbox One, PC, and PS4, and it'll be boots on the ground. These are my reasons why I think Call of Duty 2016 will probably be the best Call of Duty we've ever had since Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is my favorite Call of Duty, guys. This just because just of the social aspect in Search and Destroy. I loved going on Search and Destroy and just talking to random people. Either just messing with them, talking with them, annoying them. It doesn't matter. I love Black Ops 2's social aspect. And that's what I think Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 is really lacking. They didn't have Forest Game Chat like the other Call of Duty's. I'm not sure if got Ghosts. Call me wrong, I think it had Forest Game Chat. But seriously, Treyarch needs to bring back Forest Game Chat. I don't know how they would do this, but... They just need to bring back so you can like record game chat without needing to buy this certain cable. So like, you really let us down, I mean, Microsoft and Treyarch and Advanced Warfare. If they, like, you go into an MW, you go, <laughs> I'm getting off topic now, but I'll promise I'll end it right after this. You go into a Black Ops 3 lobby, you go into Search and Destroy, you'll find at least two mics talking, either to each other or Joe's Beast Center. You start talking, you can just get a conversation rolling. Black Ops 3, you go into Search and Destroy, everyone's got a mic. You start talking. Silent, complete silence. You go into a black, you go into a black ops two lobby. You hear one guy, this dragon's got a riot shield. You go into black ops three, you get a quad feed for the final kill. Silence, just complete silence. It, it's it's so stupid in my opinion. That really, forest game chat for such a story would just be amazing. I would play that game all so much. I play kill confirm free for all and team deathmatch because. I don't know, this is the game I like to play because such a short, just like no social aspect. But honestly, guys, these are my three, these are my multiple reasons why I think COD 2016 is going to be the best. Also, COD 2016, please have a force game chat. That's one thing I got to mention. But these are my reasons why I think Call of Duty 2016 will be the best Call of Duty we've had since Black Ops 2. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy it and or if you do agree. Also, post in the comments your opinions, your thoughts, if you disagree or agree with me. Also, subscribe if you are new. And with, that, with that all said... Have a safe one, and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios. I was fine when you held my hand. I was fine when you pulled me down.